Um, hey guys, MyFan2001 here. Um, I have pretty, I have a pretty sad, um, pretty sad video today. I'm gonna turn this fan off. It's pretty noisy. Okay. So, um, starting off with a bit of sad news here today. Um, I printed out, uh, if you guys don't know, this whole controversy with Scott, whatever. Um, basically, was it yesterday or this morning? I think it was yesterday. He put out on his website, Scott Games, and he put out the following that I'm about to read you. Um, so, he sent, he had a, has a picture of some fan art, you know, pretty cool fan art. You know. Um, before I say anything else, check out this awesome piece of fan art. Pretty amazing stuff, right? I have boxes and boxes of, art, of artwork like this from fans that I've saved over years. I've tried to answer as many letters as I could and I apologize to anyone that I missed somehow. Someday when I have a bigger living room, maybe I'll make a giant collage of all the fan art I've collected. Stuff like this has made it worthwhile to me over the last seven years. I'm sorry if you keep hearing like a beep. That's my fire alarm. It doesn't have a battery in it. I can't rip it out of the wall, the ceiling, because there's wires connected to it. I don't know where the wires go, but it annoys me too, trust me. Um, but yeah, uh, I've had a blessed, fulfilling, and rich career. I've been shown great kindness and tried to show great kindness in return. I've tried to make some good games, let the debate ensue. And I've witnessed the creation of possibly the most creative and talented fan base on the planet. But here on the seventh anniversary of the first games trailer, as I realized that I was in my mid thirties when I created the series, and now I'm approaching my mid forties, I realized that I miss a lot of things that I got to focus on before FNAF became such a success. I miss making games for my kids. I miss doing it just for fun. And I miss making RPGs even though I stink at it. All of this to say that I am retiring. I've been shown tremendous love and support over the last week, a lot has a lot of which has become from has come from the LGBTQ community. The kindness shown to me has been surreal. And this is it the is this the end of FNAF? No. This just means that someone else will eventually be running the show. Someone of my choosing and someone that I trust. We will have to wait and see how it all plays out but an announcement will be made at some point. I have six kids now, although one of them is currently the size of Blueberry. I love them dearly. They are my whole world and my whole universe. I want to focus my attention on them, focus on protecting them, and spend my time making things for them. I only ask that my fan base respect my decision. I will still be around, just not in the capacity that I used to be. What a blessed career I've had. What a wonder! What wonderful people I've met, and what tremendous blessing to have been to have been able to know all of you. Thank you so much. See you on the flip side. It's gonna make me cry, Scott. Um. Well, this is not the news I really wanted to hear, but um. So, something I'm probably going to get a lot is, um, is this the end of Five Nights at Freddy's? Like you said, no. Um, what I think he will probably do, it's still his creation, kind of like what Daco said. Um, if you haven't checked out his video, please watch it. it he gets deep and... It's, yeah. Um, oh my god, you're gonna make me tear up. Uh, he, um, what I think is probably gonna happen is he's going to 
give this to probably Steel Bull. I don't. I don't think it would be a Lumix. I don't know. Um, but he's gonna give this to them and be like, "This is the story. This is what I've done. This is how it goes. Here you go." You know, kind kind of like that. You know. Um, and then he's still gonna probably be in the background watching over it, making sure it's not gonna be like, you know, if somebody's like, oh yeah, this is the, uh, oh, the bite of 87, 83 never happened, he's still alive this entire time, changing the entire story. I don't think that's gonna happen. At least I hope not. Jeez. Uh, Imagine if that did. Oh. Oh. Oh no, you'd be hating, you'd be having people hating on you. <sighs> not on Scott, not on Scott. Get that, get that clear, not on Scott. I, hating on whoever. Anyways, not the point. Um, what's my chair rubbing up against? Oh. Um, but, uh, yeah. I do think that he's not going to have control over it. He's just gonna give it to someone you know like this thing see this thing right here some people say it's ugly this thing is the cutest thing ever and um, it's not gonna be the same cuz it's got Scott's name. Uh, don't get emotional. Don't get emotional. Um, I want to take the second part of this. Um, to say thank you, Scott. Thank, um, if you're watching this, thank you so much for, um, Uh, thank you. Um, <clears throat> oh, I don't know if I can do this. Thank you for giving the fourteen year old me. Ooh. 14, 15, I don't remember. It's been that long ago. Um, I was very... Um, I don't want to go too personal about this. I was in a... Let's just say I was in a very dark place. Okay? And... I wanted to become a YouTuber. You know, I've, so I saw Jacksepticeye and uh, I think Markiplier and... I was like, you know, this seems really fun. I would love to do this. Um, and it, uh, I didn't know what to do, okay? I was working off a tablet. Matter of fact, my tablet's over there. My ta a tablet that I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to record. I didn't know what to do. So if you guys look at my very first videos, I sound super young, even though I'm not that young. And I'm like, hey guys, you know, blah, blah, blah. On my very first video, I didn't even have a microphone. And I was playing Roblox back in, back whenever it first shot off, you know? But, um,. It, uh, I didn't know what to make, okay? I didn't know what to do. And then, um, June 14th, uh, made my channel back in February. I didn't post anything. Uh, and then June 14th, this trailer came out for this really cool game, Five Nights at Freddy's. And that came out, what, August 8th, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and 
it was amazing. It was awesome, you know. It um, it really, I'm Scott. I'm pretty sure it changed like half the horror gen. Oh, what is it? No, not general. What the crap? Genre. Jeez. Um, pretty sure it, it changed that. Cause like nobody ever, people always imagined it, but nobody really thought, oh, killer animatronics, holy crap. Then the mystery and stuff that I could solve, and it really sucks cause on that tablet, I couldn't record and edit nothing. So I did make videos on it, but I just scrapped them all because I didn't think anybody was gonna watch me. I didn't think I was good enough to make this content. And so I found the very first, I found an Easter egg in the game, okay? And this was when it first came out. I found an Easter egg in the game. And I posted it to, what, 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 uh, to Google Plus. Shout out to you guys if you guys remember Google Plus. Um, and I put this out there and I was like, hey, yeah, you know, here's this if you guys didn't know about it. And this guy commented on my post and he was like, hey, man, that's awesome. Um, that's that's really cool. Keep up the good work. And uh, if you have any thing, if you have any things on theories and stuff, let me know. Um, the name of this dude was Daco. You know, the the Daco, okay? And, of course, I never heard of this guy, so I checked out his channel and stuff. And I liked what he did, so I, I subscribed to him. I have been ever since. Um, so, uh, yeah. Finally, I got to the point where it, nothing was recording on my tablet and I spent probably a couple years not posting anything now I'm posting every Monday Wednesday and Friday and it is taking its toll on me I am I am doing hard work for those guys for the people that don't do this it is stressful believe me uh, I get like two three hours of sleep yeah, um, not good, but <laughs> I want to make you guys happy, um, but, uh, yeah, and then all these games came out, and I would play them, but I wouldn't record them, and I would play them at school, I would play them at, um, uh, at random places, you know, then just hearing the scream, hear hearing me, like, scream, and horror because of getting jump scared by Bonnie or Chica or Nightmare or Foxy or um, you know stuff like that and then Sister Location came out and I was like holy crap Scott this is this is awesome you know and um, I want to th uh, uh, thank you for all of the laughter the screams, all of the stuff that you have given me, you have given to other people of the FNAF community, Daco, Freddy, Fre uh, Freddy Pop Collector, all of them, you really helped us out, and um, it sucks that this is happening. I live like pretty much right down the road from you, Scott. Um, I, I do live in Texas, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say what city I live in, but I, I do live in Texas and we're just down the road. But, um, would it have been nice to have, like, an interview and stuff with you? Yes, but I'm not, sadly, I'm not that popular. I'm very thankful for what I have, for the stuff that you have helped bring me, um... For uh, <laughs> taking me out of dark places, um, man. I know I've never met you, and we've heard 
I've heard, we've heard you on the games and in the Daco interview and stuff, but thank you. Um, I feel like I know, I think, I feel like I've known you all these seven years, but, um, I, I didn't really, you know, but, um, I'm really glad that you are spending time with, with your family, that you, it, yeah, you know, um, is it sad that this is, uh, not, um, is it sad that you're not going to be a, not, I don't know how to put this. Is it sad that you are retiring? Absolutely. Um, I knew at some point you were probably going to, probably after like the movie or FNAF security breach or whatever. Um, and then I found out just recently there's another game, Into, the, Into Madness or whatever. I really hope they don't change anything that they do. I really hope they don't get rid of the mystery aspect of it because that's what I really love doing, diving deep into the games and seeing what is what. And then, um, um, this is hard. Um, thank you, Scott. Thank you so so much for giving taking your time out of giving us games for um us to enjoy us to play uh, uh thank you for making some of these creators i wanted to be a game developer because of you um that didn't work out too well but you know i still try um i don't get some aspects of it but you know i still work i still try and make games um, matter of fact, I'm, uh, I haven't done it in so long, I'm having to relearn it on that Scratch.io program or whatever. Um, it's pretty much just the basics of coding. But, um, yeah, uh, you made, I would not be here if it was not for you. Um, I would not have a YouTube channel if it wasn't for you. Um, um, it, um, yeah, it sucks, but, uh, future of FNAF is not over. He is taking, he was giving it to somebody else and I'm really, I'm just really glad that you're not cutting, calling it quits and stuff. Um, now, I do recommend that you guys play Desolate Hope. That's a fun game. I, de uh, I didn't, I haven't played it and then I did play it and it was pretty fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, all, like, the old games, Chipper and Sons, and stuff like that. Thank you, Scott, for making a g games. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Um, you helped me get reach my goal of getting 100 subscribers. I've been working for that for so many years now, and... That was all I really wanted. I just wanted 100 subscribers to show that I'm actually doing something in life and to show that I'm bringing people happiness and people that can enjoy the same stuff I enjoy. I want to be, I would love to be, you know, one of the top people and that I know for a fact that's not going to happen, but thank you, Scott, for everything. Uh, I don't think I got to every topic. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. Thank you, Scott. Um, happy retirement. Um, you will be dearly missed. So, um, thank you guys so much for everything. Um, if you guys 
might want to do that in this video. Um, the next video, we this is this will not be the end of FNAF on this channel. I will I will say that we are, we will play Security Breach. We will watch that movie on here. We will uh, I will play every single Five Nights at Freddy's game on that TV right there, and I will play it for you guys. And hopefully one day I will get a um, uh, a face cam so you guys can see me. You know, um, so you guys can see me, you know, um, get scared, you know. But, um, yeah, sorry this video is so long. I just want to put that out there. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, see you in the next video.